Hey everybody, what's up? I hope your day is going really good and hopefully this will make your day better because today I have another great pet care guide for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to care for the Oscar cichlids. These guys are awesome fish. But before we get started, make sure to like this video and leave a comment below. It really helps me put out new content for you guys so I can make better quality videos for you guys and all that stuff. So let's just get right into it now. Um, Oscar cichlids are South American cichlids and they're really cool guys. Um, really interactive, a great fish, everybody loves them, um, but they're not for everybody and that's for sure. So let's get started. These guys can get quite aggressive and do get quite large. Compared to some of the fish I keep, of course, they are not very large, but to most people, you know, they're quite large animals and they require a little bit of special care that most can't provide. So, to get started, these guys are quite aggressive to other fish. A lot of people say that they'll like rip holes and things, kill everything, they're killer fish. Um, that's really not actually true though. Um, while these guys are quite aggressive and will hurt other fish, eat feeder fish, even eat mice, I've even seen that on YouTube, they're not really cracked up to what people say they are. Um, they're not going to go and rip a hole in a, a red devil or anything like that anytime soon. They just do not do that. Um, but yeah, these guys don't go with most other fish. Um, you have to have similar sized fish. I'll talk about tank mates later though. So yeah, it's just very important to know that these guys do get quite aggressive. So now about the size and tank size. Now these guys get around 8 to 12 inches max. Um, I have seen a slightly larger, you know, every once in a while you've seen 13, even 14 inch Oscars, but that's not really that all that common. So 8 to 12 inches is a general guideline for these guys. Um, and they can live quite a long time. Um, I'd say probably 5 to 8 years. Um, I read a story about 20 year old breeding pair. No confirmation on that. There was no sources or anything, but I don't know if I'm going to buy that. But, you know, they are pretty long lived fish. Um, except for diseases, which we'll talk about later as well. So, back on topic for tank size. Um, for a small one, which is about, I'd say probably four to six inches, a 20, no, not a 20 long, a um, 30 gallon or a 40 breeder would really be ideal for growing out a young Oscar. 40 breeders are awesome sizes for growing them out to around even eight inches or so. And then when it get bigger, I would recommend 75 gallons, because 55 gallons is not big enough. Very important to know. 55 gallons in theory to water volume might be big enough. I don't even think that's big enough, but 55 gallon tanks are only 12 inches front to back. And if you have a 12 inch Oscar, how is it gonna turn around if the tank's only 12 inches width? See what I mean? A 75 gallon would be great, and you might even be able to fit two in there if you're careful and you select the fish correctly. Um, if you want more than two Oscars, a 90 gallon would be work, maybe for three, that would be ideal for two. Um, but if you want to have a community of fish, like a few Oscars, other cichlids, like maybe something like an arowana, not arowana, but you know what I mean, a community of fish, um, a 180 gallon would be pretty good for these guys in a community of fish. So for diseases, um, these guys are really prone to hole in the head if you have bad water quality and it's really hard to cure so make sure to keep your water clean they're very prone to that they're also very prone to feeder fish infections which there is a lot of um, if you feed them feeder fish they can get that so I would not recommend that speaking of food what do you feed them I feed mine Hikari cichlid gold the one in the red package that's just the best thing I've ever fed them I have three of them this is just my smallest one um, but it makes them keep their color, they don't lose color when you're feeding them that, and that's great. Make sure to supplement their diet, although that would be the staple. Supplement it with things like meal, I mean not mealworms, excuse me, bloodworms, other types of pellets from Hikari, you know, stuff like that. Um, not feeder fish, they're not very good for them, unless you quarantine. If you must feed feeder fish, quarantine them. As for tank mates, like I said, you have to look more into that. They are compatible with other fish just not in small tanks. In the big tank, they're very compatible. Anyways, guys, I hope that this helped you a lot. Um, I think I covered everything I need. If I didn't, then I'll be making another video for separate things for these guys. Make sure to leave a like and a comment below, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be making a lot more care guide videos so that you guys can care for your fish 100% properly. And until next time, I will be making a lot more videos and then posting them. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.